Dr. Withen's background as both a sociologist and a smoke jumper give us a unique perspective on fireline leadership issues. Let's listen to his thoughts on another important element of our job, fireline decision making in high stress situations. Dr. Withen explains what happens to our decision making capabilities when we are constantly expected to perform at a high level while being continuously exposed to high levels of stress and fatigue. Stress is inherent in any fire situation and the reactions to stress are rather well known. Basically people start to get what might be called tunnel vision as they get more stressed out by a fire or an accident or whatever the situation might be. They just start focusing in on that and uh, because of stress they actually have less ability to look at other situational factors going on around them. We know that typically a person in a medium stress situation that's familiar with the situation can handle about seven different tasks at once. Uh, that would be seven people or handling fire line strategy, seven things along those lines. But as stress mounts, that number goes steadily down. And there are many different kinds of stress. Uh, fatigue is a kind of stress. So if you're tired, exhausted, uh, you should take that down a notch or two. You can't handle as much as you could before. And we know that under totally stressful situations, people just get completely focused on whatever it might be at hand. So you can have the situation of the firefighters and they're really getting uh, very worried about what the fire is doing and they don't feel that comfortable at all with the fire and what might they do they might just start tunnel visioning down to what are they going to work on well my pack needs to be readjusted here or you know I need to fill out my little notes book and so they can handle that that's the way a lot of people will deal with stress as they will encounter or try to deal with what they're familiar with and they will deal with that and the thing that's causing the stress they might not be addressing that at all and there are times when people can actually recognize that uh, their leader is uh, experiencing stress and getting uh, more focused on a few narrow tasks and not seeing the big picture well there are many things that can be done. Uh, certainly we're all familiar with just how to lighten up a stressful situation, you know, uh, appropriate humor, these kind of things, taking a break, relaxing, if that's at all possible, is uh, an excellent way to do that. A crew leader can go a long ways in reducing the stress of their crew. Uh, first off, uh, the stress has to be recognized. You know, are people uh, noticeably uh, unhappy? Are they fidgety? Are they complaining? Uh, are they saying that they're very uncomfortable with this situation? We know through uh, the risk management process that you reassess what's going on and you brief people over and over again as to what's going on and so that can be a method that's used to reassure your crew that things are going uh, maybe not as you planned but uh, they're going in an acceptable direction and uh, there's, uh, we can be reassured that our safety zone is still adequate or that our tactics are working. One well-known feature of stress is that it is cumulative. Uh, it will build up over time. Uh, if you're experiencing stress uh, on a daily basis, it does take its toll in a way similar to long-term fatigue. Really the best way to deal with long-term stress is to know that it exists and that uh, to recognize that it might be happening to you or people on your crew and to react appropriately. As we come into these stressful situations, we can do the situation check outside, but we should also do an inside situation check and see how am I reacting to this stressful situation and be Re, be able to reassure ourselves that we are staying on task, on the critical task at hand because uh, certainly in stressful situations those become even more important. Know whether your tactic is to lose your temper more frequently, whether it is to really get that tunnel vision and focus on some simple task, whether your reaction is to withdraw, whether 
uh, your reaction is to uh, become, uh, you know, humorous and lighthearted and not be able to focus on the task. And then while we're monitoring our own stress levels, if we're a crew leader, we need to also be aware of how our crew is reacting to this stress. Are they reacting to my stress? Are they reacting to the fire situation? And uh, deal with these situations as they arise. Once again, let's get into our groups and complete the exercise in your student workbook.